You know, this is sad. It really is. Tom and Katie did seem like they were a happy couple, but now it really does seem like we could be headed for a contentious divorce. Now, joining me now from New York is divorce attorney Vicki Ziegler, author of The Premarital Planner. Also in New York tonight, People Magazine executive editor J.D. Heyman. Thanks, guys, for joining us. By the way, J.D., uh, the People people's new cover story, Why Katie Left Tom, is on newsstands right now. And I, and I got to ask you, this cover story has some really fascinating tidbits into Katie's decision to leave Tom. One of the things that you report is that she was feeling really isolated in the marriage. Well, that, that's true. Uh, certainly people close to her uh, recount that she was uh, unhappy and unhappy for a while. And, uh, and that her world in, in Tom's world was incredibly, you know, difficult. Um, that said, obviously, he has a very different um, take on it. And uh, as recently a month, as a month ago, was more than ecstatic about being married and very effusive about, about the marriage. Yeah, you know, it's really interesting when couples do get divorced and the stories of why are so completely different. Vicki, you know, it's been widely reported that Katie is filing for sole custody of Surrey. There have been other reports, too, that say Scientology could be an issue here. So if this is true, how could a religious dispute play out if a judge ultimately has to decide who Surrey should live with. Yeah, this gets really ugly really quickly, I have to tell you. And judges really don't want to stand in the way of parents raising their children in their religious beliefs. The problem is when you have a couple, potentially like this one, that does not agree on how to raise their child, what religious upbringing, the judge may have to make a decision. The problem is what is in the best interest of the child is always paramount. And number two, is there any type of harm that may come to this child if the child is raised under the Scientology belief system. So this could get extremely very, um, very difficult. This could be a contentious battle. And unfortunately, the child is in the crossfire. And that's what happens time and time again with these cases. So I mean, it is so sensitive. But if you have two parents that don't agree on how to raise their child, you, you have to bring it to the court's attention. And we're going to see how this plays out. I mean, that's true. And, and yeah, what, you know, Vicki, I was just going to say one thing. Go ahead, we, we, we don't necessarily know yet. Um, if this is going to be the thrust of, of, of both of their arguments. I mean, certainly uh, we know that Tom is a devoted Scientologist and we know that, that Katie has an evolving view on, on the Church of Scientology and may not want her child to be brought up that way. But we're, we're not there yet. We don't really know if it's going mm -hmm. to play out that way. But Tom is also, and we should say, a devoted father. And, you know, you guys also have an inside look at how he's feeling right now. What is he feeling about Katie just basically leaving him? Well, I, it's clear that he's very upset. Um, and uh, con and uh, he was uh, uh, surprised by, by this move. People on her side of it said she's very, very firm about her decision. This is a long time coming for her. But it's also clear that he didn't see it. So... Uh, yeah. That's what makes this so spectacular. Well, Vicki, let me ask you, because like you heard J.D. say, that Tom's pretty much shattered that his marriage is over. But now he may actually have to fight for custody of his daughter and defend his religion at the same time. If he was your client, what advice would you give him about the best way to handle all of this? Wow, well, this is keep it out of the media. I know we all don't want to hear about it because that's oh. all we're talking about. But, the, but if he was my client, we want to take it to mediation or arbitration. We don't want to display this for the world to watch. And we really want to work out with a parent coordinator what is the be in the best interest of the child. Really, you don't want to bring this child into psych for psychologists. Um, you don't want them you know, to, look, to be looked under the microscope with a forensic psychologist. This could get very very traumatic for the child and that's the that's the last thing these people want to happen for the daughter that they love so very much so it would absolutely be to try to work it out um, behind closed doors to make sure that you have a priority of what's in the best interest of the child and we haven't heard too much about what wrong in their marriage and money yet because we do believe it's reported that there's a prenuptial agreement although we don't specifically know what's in there so it's interesting we're only hearing about the child we haven't heard much about the money other than she may be getting uh, up to 15 million dollars for every year for right. the entire or five year, five and a half year marriage. I think that's exactly right. And, and what we're talking about mm -hmm. here is going to come down to parenting. I mean, what is clear about yeah. both of these people is is that they love this little girl very much. Mm -hmm. They're both very wealthy people. This is not going to be about their assets. This is going to be about how they raise this child. And I think both of them want a very strong role in her life. I don't think either one of them yeah. expects it's going to come down to one person controlling her destiny entirely.
Well, the, JD and Vicky, great stuff. Thank you guys yeah. so much Thanks. for joining us. We Thanks. really appreciate it. Now, you know what? I want to hear from you.